Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Fight Club. My name is Jafari, a black belt karate instructor with 21 years of experience and also international athlete. And in today's episode, we have a fight scene from new season of anime Baki. The fight is between Baki and Oliver Biscuit. Or if you are French, Biscuit. So, without wasting any more time, let's begin. And if it's your first time here in the channel, join us by hitting the subscribe button. And let's go! I have to admit in the beginning that I'm not a big fan of Baki anime. I love more King and Ashura because I think it's more realistic. Uh, it looks for me more realistic as martial art anime more than Baki. Well, also I don't like Baki because of the style of drawing. But anyway, it's for me it's not more realistic. But anyway, there is also always some good really fight scene. And one of them it's the one that we have today. In this scene, we can see that Baki in the jail and he's kind of challenging that big man. Biscuit, I don't know why they calling him Biscuit, he should be Rock or something like that. Anyway, he's challenging him and we can see that he's preparing to attack. You can see that uh, in this particular scene that he's cracking and by bending his toes. That means he's preparing his leg, leg to use it in his attack. And that what happened immediately. Becky launched his first attack and I love how much the attack here was really accurate in the drawing. The producer make it in really correct way. That's how exactly our legs look when we do when do our round kick, or as we call it in uh, karate, mawashi giri. It's really something good to see. Something specific drawing in the right way because uh, usually in specifically in anime, they draw it in the wrong way. It's rarely when you see it in a correct way. That was very uh, beautiful scene. But hey, what's more beautiful is the way that. Baki was standing. Notice that he was not standing in normal way, but he was standing on his toes. That means he also prepared himself to attack more. Or actually, in this case, he's prepared to counter attack from his opponent. So that was a really cool detail to pay attention to it because you can't just attack someone and uh, be relaxed. No, you, you know that when you attack, you have also to be attacked. So that was really something uh, good to see this little detail. Well, I have to mention something important that I will ignore some point in this fight, especially the point of that are not logical at all, like breaking the walls and all that, all uh, that fiction fights. No, I will just focus on the martial art side. Here, Becky did a big mistake, make uh, Oliver able to block his attack. What he did, he was looking at the point where his attacking we talked before i think in the first episode i guess uh, that when you are against your opponent you should not look to the point where you're gonna attack i will not just uh, for example if you are my opponent i will not um, i'm planning to attack your abs i will not just keep looking at them that's obviously mean i'm attacking that point so as we talked before you should always keep first safe distance between you and your opponent and always look into his eyes in that way you will do something we call the framing which is put your opponent in a frame so you will be able to see him from his uh, head to his toes without keep moving your head you have only to look into his eyes so back he did here a big mistake and that caused him that oliver biscuits or the rock was able to block his attack and later he's just anyway <laughs> Again, there is some really beautiful details that the producer here or the drawer m m pay attention to it so much, especially the way that how you kick or how you do the kicks uh, exactly. That's really something beautiful and I like it. In this scene, we saw that Baki attacking again Oliver with his side of his kick or side kick. Usually people will attack with, their, uh, with the bottom of the, uh, their feet. Actually, that's wrong. Because as we already mentioned before in the episode of uh, the Punisher versus in the Russian gym, that will make you just push the uh, uh, will make you just push your opponent. But when you kick with the side, that's how you do the damage. Especially that he attack it to specific dangerous point in the face, which is uh, the nose and the mouth. So he's using his side kick, which is we call it in karate yukugiri, or actually the side of his leg, or his feet 
call it Sokito. So that's really something cool and I love to watch this kind of details how to do really the good and correct move in the correct way. In this scene we can see a beautiful example of how to use the right attack for the right point. What make martial arts specific and more good is you should know when and how to use your attack. For example, if it's a big area, you need to be a, uh, a, a strong attack. If it's small area, you just need to use small part of your body. That's what happened in this scene. We can see that Becky attacked immediately the uh, this side of uh, the face of Oliver. Actually, actually, he just attacked under his ear, which is it's really dangerous point and can cause to kill you but when he attack it he just use his hand or actually the inside of his hand in karate we call it haito so he attack it in this way uh, to knock him immediately that was really something smart to use just small part of your body do not waste your energy or did an attack for example trying to kick with your leg so your opponent can see it no he just was smart by just using his hand that was really smart quick and as we already say effective in this scene after oliver turned himself to an armadillo and in this uh, very strange defense position anyway uh becky tried to broke that defense in many ways but he couldn't but i'm talking here about something specific it's his punch the way he did it it was really something cool because it's 100 percent again right we're gonna start from this scene I want to ask you to focus on his leg. You will see that his uh, his legs are not in same line. Each leg in different line. Basically, they are parallel. Why we do that? That can help you to keep balance, so you will not lose your balance or fall down. But if you keep your feet in same line and try to attack immediately, you're gonna lose your. Then second thing, which is something we talk about it in the episode of breaking down the fight of uh, Shang-Chi, which is the, the position of your uh, shoulders and your arm when you attack with your arm. We can see that back here, he do it in this way. But let's break it down here. First of all, his leg was the opposite of his hand. What that mean? That mean his front leg was the right one, and he's attacking with the left arm. That make your punch more powerful than uh, punching with the same arm as leg. Also, he didn't uh, as uh, he did it in the right way. He didn't over attack it. We talk in the Shang Chi episode. You don't when you attack your hand or your arm should be perpendicular to your arm in this way you see and also should not my arm uh, exceed so much like doing in this way this way completely wrong because you will just lose more energy but in this case no why we do attack this or recommend to attack this because if your opponent is more stronger than you like in this say in this uh, situation the attack will not affect you, will punch and even if your attack, uh, your opponent is stronger, it will just stop. So your shoulder will not uh, be hurt, but it will just support your body, it will be just like that. And no matter what the person is trying to push, it's uh, no problem, I can keep doing that all the day. He will just keep punching, uh, pushing and it will block him without do any more effort. But if my punch go further here is the danger in this case there is nothing anymore support my shoulder and that can cause a big damage and can't hurt it also it can easy to twist my hand and put me down that's why we, we attack in this specific way as Baki by the way in karate we call it Gyaku Tsuki and the position it's Zenkutsu and I love that. I have to appreciate that this fight is really have some beautiful detail. Again, in this scene, I want you to focus more on Ilva and Baki, how each one of them uh, start their punch. Here we can see the difference between technique and between the force. For Oliver, he's just using his force, that's all. He's just using his power, his big body, that's all. But for uh, Baki, no, he's more using technique. That's why when he 
attacking he was uh, he, he bending his uh, arm and started from here which make him attack in small area and faster and stronger for all the other side other side no he just was based on his powers that's why he start his attack from this way and he just like to swing so this in this case that attack will not work yes it can cause some damage but uh, but the one who gonna win it's obviously gonna be backy because his attack are more stronger and are more effective even if there is some uh, they are close from each other but uh, the attack of uh, uh, Baki will be more stronger because it's more technical and in the, in the right way not just like Oliver who just swing in his uh, his arm and it's easy to avoid it if you just uh, bend a little bit of avoid it that's all but for technique attack it's hard to escape it because it's always in the direct line it's not like swinging no it's always in direct line so that make it short because you just start from point E to point B in one line not like swinging swinging you have to make an arc to attack which is take a long time and need more energy from you so that was all for today I have to admit that it's really a beautiful fight scene yes there is some fiction in it some things that believable believable but uh, as I told you before I will not focus on it or even talk about it anyway so there is some fun of it but for me I'm not but I have to admit that I really enjoy this fight scene enjoy how much the, uh, the technique are really something uh, beautiful something accurate 100% the way of your body uh, the details of the way you kick the way your leg is or your hand that's really something i love about this scene everything was accurate 100 percent and i enjoy it so much so i would love also to know what about you so let me know and comment below and let me know about uh, your opinion about this fight scene what did you like what you didn't like what things that i missed uh, and i didn't talk about it so let me know and uh, if you have also more suggestion for any fight or the fight scene just uh, write it in the comment or leave uh, the link below that was all for today i hope to see you the next episode have a nice day and see you soon